Show on 100.5 and 790 News Radio WSGW and online WSGW.com. A mostly sunny good morning to you. I hope your day is going well for you, wherever you might be. Hey, our day is going great. It's absolutely gorgeous out there. Terry Henney, along with Jonathan Dent here at uh, Radio Center. And uh, John, quite frankly, it doesn't get much better than this. I'll take it for early April. Yeah. Well, even in the summer. Yeah. I mean, to have temperatures the way they are right now at noon, what are we looking at? Well, right now out at the airport, 70 degrees under sunny skies. Downtown Midlands at 73. Here at Radio Center, we're at 71. It is kind of breezy out there, but with these temperatures, the yeah. breeze isn't too bad out of the southwest. 16 miles per hour gusting up to 24. Uh, relative humidity right now is at uh, 47%. Pretty dry. Yesterday, we were all the way down to 25%. Wow. And we didn't have the sun. It was just a really, really, <clears throat> excuse me, dry day like my throat. <laughs> uh, the way the way temperatures are going, we're going to crack the 80-degree mark. I don't think there's too much question on that. And taking a look at temperature readings right now, obviously, southern Michigan, you'd expect them to be a little bit warmer, and they are. But Alpena is just as warm this hour than what Detroit is. And Roger City is right up there. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I think Roger City is the hot spot right now at uh, 75, I believe it is. Yep, I think that yeah. they've got everybody beat where that's concerned. Yeah. Pretty even warm up across the yeah, state. Yeah, all across. And even the upper peninsula, we're looking at some uh, 70 degree temperatures up there too, mixed in with a few 50s and 60s. Uh, Escanaba right now is at uh, 70. Menominee is at uh, 71. Now, the record high on this date is 84, and that was set back in 1977. I don't think we're going to break it, but we're going to come pretty close. Now, if you think we're close today, tomorrow we're looking for a high temperature of 82. The record tomorrow is 82. And that was set way back in 1941. So you're talking, what, 80 years or yeah. so? And then not only tomorrow, but the day after. So we're coming up on uh, Friday. Friday's record high is 80. And that was also set in 1941. And our projected high temperature for Friday is 80 degrees. So uh, we could be looking at some records that uh, have been set uh, close to 80 years, maybe a little bit longer than that. One thing we won't have to worry about is record lows, thank goodness. No. 18 back in 1950. And, and a year ago, our high was 66, which was quite mild. And our low was 33, which is pretty close to average. We should be right around 54. And at night, 35. Now, what's going to happen once we work our way through the weekend? Well, Saturday is going to be a very mild day, but it's going to be more cloudy. And Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, that's when we're going to begin to see uh, some precipitation move in. And that precip is going to be around on Sunday. It's not going to be a steady, heavy downpour type thing, anything like that. It's going to be a little bit more like a, an average rainfall. And then by later in the day on Sunday, Sunday night, things should begin to taper off just a little bit. Our high temperature for the day on Sunday will be early in the morning right around, oh, let's say 62, 63, and then 38 for a low on Sunday night, which is still above average. On Monday, we're going to struggle to hit 50. We should make it up to right around 48, looking for a low on Monday night of 35. And then Tuesday, we'll start to climb back up about 52. And I'm looking for a mostly cloudy day. Still a chance of some rain showers spilling over Sunday night and early Monday morning. But uh, next week promises to be slightly below average on the temperatures. And quite honestly, I'm looking at below average on the moisture. A little bit longer once we get into the second half of the work week next week. A lot closer to normal. Normal precipitation as well. So, yeah, we're getting spoiled. I love being spoiled. We are going to come back to reality a little bit. 
But then as we work our way into the last few days of the month of April, let's call it the last week, we're looking for our temperatures once again to run above average and precipitation values to be pretty close to normal. We're owing all of this nice weather to two things, a high pressure system over North Carolina, eastern Tennessee, and a low pressure system, which right now is moving toward Hudson Bay, well up in Canada. The two drafting that warmer air, and fortunately for us, dry air, so we're not getting a lot of moisture with it. As we approach and get into the weekend, there's going to be a second low pressure system, which is going to be over Nebraska. That's going to hook on to a front that's all the way up into Hudson Bay. That's going to slide in a northeasterly direction, but also have a little bit more of an easterly push. So that's why we're going to see the moisture on Saturday night and during the day on Sunday, drifting into Monday, and then that chance of some cooler air as we move into the first part of the work week. Sun sets this evening at 816. By the time it gets dark, about 850. Sunrise tomorrow morning at 657. And you should see a real nice sunrise as well as a sunset. More on the weather as we go through the broadcast. Uh, Chit-chat a little bit later on with Scott Dumas from Nutrient Ag. Those guys uh, have got to be busy. And I know they're uh, talking to a lot of people over the last couple of days. I bet. We'll try to pry him loose so uh, we can talk to him for a second or two. Doug Klein waiting for us. Of course, Cody Harris over at Star of the West. All of that coming up. But first. First, the weather report today brought to you by the folks at Nutrien Ag Solutions. Nutrien Ag Solutions has the local expertise to recommend the corn, soybean, and other seed products that are the best fit for your field. Plus, unparalleled agronomic support with products and services to unlock yield potential and improve crop performance from planting to harvest. Ask about our financing options to help you get more from every acre and lead the field. Visit your local Nutrien Ag Solutions branch or go to NutrienAgSolutions.com. They say there's a secret to growing a great crop. At Nutrien Ag Solutions, they beg to differ. It all starts with a strong foundation, and when it comes to fertilizer, there's no question that Titan XE drives dry fertilizer performance. They've been unlocking the potential in every prill of dry fertilizer with BioCatalyst technology for over a decade. Visit lpi.ag slash Titan or contact your Nutrient Ag Solutions crop consultant to drive your crop's potential today. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at the Michael Sarr Crop Insurance Agency. Risk management, it's all about taking care of business when something is looming out there and you need some protection or you want to take advantage of some good things. They can help you. The Michael Sarr Crop Insurance Agency is licensed to serve all of Michigan with both conventional and organic crop insurance. You can get hold of their agents uh, on their cell for questions or emergencies, or you can call the office. They're located in downtown Reese, 868-4722, and that's area code 989. We say good morning to Cody Harris over at Star of the West. Cody, the last time I looked, uh, we had a little uh, mixed bag of stuff going on. Yeah, you're right this morning, Terry. It looks like we got definitely a mixed bag here today, but I'm going to say it's actually mostly green. So after what we kind of saw yesterday after the report, um, it's definitely a nice sign to see here kind of midweek for sure after kind of everything that we got out of the report yesterday. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that. Uh, what did the report give us? Well, kind of looking across the board here, yesterday, you know, for corn wise, you know, I talked to a couple of traders, you know, we're kind of baffled. It seemed like that the uh, report kind of failed to account for the lower than expected March 1 corn stocks that we saw at the, on the USDA's late March stocks and seeding report a couple of weeks ago. Um, and they left corn and soybeans ending stocks unchanged. And as far as the corn um, goes, that was 26 million bushels higher than a lot of traders were expecting. I think that came in at about 1.3 billion bushels. Um, kind of the big thing on the corn side of things, though, is that Argentina's corn crop was lowered. Uh, to 37 million metric tons. Exports um, from there were lifted by a couple, uh, I was think it was 2 million metric tons. Um, and that kind of offset maybe the bearish impact um, about some Russia talk about the new grain deal initiative, maybe not, uh, or expecting to expire in mid-May. Um, as you kind of look over at soybeans, kind of like I said, the same thing in corn. A lot of guys were baffled that they left ending stocks unchanged after the reduction in the March 1 stocks. 
Um, cause I mean, soybeans were at like a pipeline low, I believe at 210 million bushels. So, um, maybe the USDA is a little reluctant to drop it much more below that. Um, but that's kind of the big talk around the report. So, um, but I, uh, as we kind of look at it, you know, bullish on the soybean side, um, there's a larger, a larger than expected cut in the soybean production, um, which was at, I think about 27 million metric tons. Um, which matched some private analyst estimates, but that is the smallest Argentine soy crop in 23 years. So um, that could have a little bit of weight as we definitely move forward as far as looking at the corn and soybean front. Uh, but as far as wheat goes, not a lot of changes in the wheat side of things. Um, I guess right now for wheat, they're kind of the only one green across the board, but that pressure is coming from um, a little bit of Ukraine-Russia situation. Uh, we got some hints coming out the last couple of days um, that without lifting some sanctions, Russia is saying that the Black Sea Grain Initiative may not be extended beyond mid-May. So that's really what that market's looking at right now, Terry. So right now on the board, what do you have? Yeah, right now we got cash wheat. That's up six at the moment. Six forty on the white, five ninety on the red. New crop wheat that's up five, six sixty four on the white, six fourteen on the red. Looking over at corn, that's up. I'm gonna call it up three at the moment at five ninety nine. Uh, new crop corn, though, that's down two at 497. And looking over at soybeans, cash soybeans are up three at 1430. And new crop soybeans are actually down 10 here this morning at 1239. You have a great day, Cody. Thank you. You as well. Will do. Cody Harris over at Star of the West. Doug Klein up next. Over to Oppenheimer we go. The market report today is brought to you by Schaefer and Beerline. Are you ready to upgrade to a new Ram truck for your family farm? Now is the time to order your new Ram 15, 25, or 3500. So you should see the folks at Schaefer and Beerline in Frankenmuth, the Great Lakes Bay's certified ag dealer. They specialize in all models of new Ram commercial trucks and vans, and ordering is now the way to go. You can buy with confidence from Schaefer and Beerline in Frankenmuth since 1852, where family and service sells cars. Also by Thumb Bank, they've been serving agriculture for over 125 years with two locations in Bay City, also in Cass City, Caseville, Pigeon, Bad Axe, and Marlette. Thumb Bank, where relationships are built on trust. We'll head over to Oppenheimer now, talk with Doug Klein. Doug, how are you today? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Hey, we're not doing too bad. What's going on? Well, CPI came out today at 0.1. Uh, that's half of what they expected. They were looking for 0.2 for the month. Um, so it shows that inflation is taming rapidly and that the Fed only may have to raise interest rates one more time in May and be done with it, maybe. Um, so that's got the dollar down, and that's probably what's got grains going up a little bit. Uh, crude oil is up a little over a dollar at 82.66, and uh, we heard that Biden wants to refill the Strategic Petroleum Reserve um, at this point. Probably going to wait until it hits 100. You know, why not? Yeah. But <laughs> I, I would think he'd fill it with natural gas or fill the natural gas reserve up because that's super cheap right now. So, but that's me. I like to buy on the cheap and sell on the more expensive. But. I guess we're completely opposite in that respect. So, In more ways than one, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, that's what's going on in the big picture. Here's your numbers. The May corn is 654, up three cents. December corn, 557 and a quarter, down two. May soybeans, 1501, up three and three quarters. November soybeans, 1304 and a half, down nine and three quarters. The May wheat is 680, up six cents. And December wheat is seven fifteen and a half, up three and a quarter. Crude oil eighty two sixty seven, up a dollar fourteen. Heating oil two sixty nine thirty nine, up two and a half cents. Gasoline is two eighty six eighty six, that's up point uh, three cents. And natural gas is two oh eight nine, that is down nine and a half cents. Over to currencies, Canadian dollar. U.S. dollar buys a dollar thirty four fifty Canadian. That's down sixteen ticks. The dollar buys 133.23 yen. That's down 42 ticks. The euro is at 109.85. That's up uh, seven and a half ticks. And the dollar is at 101.66. That's down 54 ticks. Gold is at $2,007.90, up $3.10. Silver is 25.32. That's up 14 cents. Platinum's at 1,023.50. It's up $18.40. I'll believe that uh, inflation is settling. When uh, I walk in the grocery store, okay? 
<laughs> well, you still got to shop your sales and look for your discounts. Otherwise, wow. yeah, you're going to be hammered. Yep. Got that <laughs> right. Have a good one, Doug. Thank you. Yep, you too. All right. Okay. Doug Klein over at Oppenheimer. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at the Frankenmuth Credit Union. They do have lines of credit, equipment loans, financing for purchasing land, credit cards, and more. Stop by any of their offices today and see how they can become your Hometown Financial Solution. Find out more by going to frankenmuthcu.org. On the roster, who's up next? Well, you mentioned him earlier. We're going to head over to Nutrien and talk with Scott Dumas now. Scott, I bet you're pretty busy today, aren't you? Yeah, everybody's just getting uh, the spring jitters out. So uh, everybody's busy and the sun's shining, the wind's blowing, and it's warm out. So it's, it's a nice day. Well, catch your breath for about two minutes. Let's talk. Uh, first of all, what are producers uh, looking at right now? Are we looking at any planting coming up here pretty quick on some of the lighter soils? Yeah, so actually, I'm actually traveling out in Huron County right now, and uh, we've got some producers out here planting some sugar beets, and um, it sounds like more are going to start possibly tomorrow or Friday uh, as the ground dries out. Well, it looks like, anyway, the soil temperatures are pretty close to 50 degrees at the two-inch level right now. Yeah, so uh, with that comes uh, not just the crops we're planting, but uh, also weeds uh, begin to germinate as well. And uh, so some of those need to be taken, you know, and controlled. You know, some winter cover crops uh, possibly did not die off. Uh, Monday, I was in a field of oats that... uh, didn't die off over the winter. They're, they're starting to green up, which is surprising. But, you know, some of these cover crops will have to get controlled as well. And how do we do that, Scott? You know, um, my best recommendation would be is to call your local uh, retailer and uh, work with your, your salesman there. They're probably going to want to take a look at it and see what's there for not only uh, grass species, but broadleaves as well and uh, what's going in, into that field. Because, You know, some products you can't just go in there and plant, be it soybeans or sugar beets or other crops uh, right away. So there's a planting delay that uh, needs to happen. So communication is always the best thing. And the ground seems to be working up pretty good. Yeah, you know, it it seems to be looking pretty well. I mean, what I've seen is some lighter ground and it, it looks real good. So, yes. It's that time of year. Boy, it sure is. And uh, you guys, I'm sure, have got the crews out uh, making as many deliveries as you can. Yeah, everybody's uh, real busy with deliveries. And, you know, a lot of what I've seen is customers coming in and getting uh, their liquid fertilizer and dry fertilizer for the row starters. And some of them are starting to top dress some wheat. So everybody's got a little pep in their step. You know, spring's here. It sure is. Scott Dumas, take care. Drive careful. We'll talk to you again. All right. Have a great day. I will. You too. Scott Dumas with Nutrien Ag. Coming up next. Coming up, we'll be talking with Jerry Simalski from Bay Landscaping and Garden Center in Essexville. But first, this. How do you make the most of your land? Shaw does it behind the wheel of a John Deere 1025R compact tractor. Why do I go by Shaw? Shaw stands for skilled hands at work. And he lives up to the name as he uses his versatile tractor to make my yard look as beautiful as I possibly can. But the Hubbards use their 1025R to do both vegetables and my flowers. It's exciting putting yourself out there, learning something new. And with a long list of easy to attach implements, ranging from a front loader to a box blade and backhoe, they both can make the earth take the shape that I want it to take. There are millions of ways to make the most of your land. How will you make the most of yours? Nothing runs like a deer. Get a one series tractor for just $130 per month at your John Deere dealer today. For additional cost information, please call toll free 855 633 2315. Contact with a Tri County Equipment's 11 locations in Auburn Hills, Bad Axe, Birch Run, Burton, Carroll, Fenton, Lapeer, Marlette, Reese, Saginaw, or Sandusky, or visit Tri County Equipment online at tricountyequipment.com. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Quality Roasting of Reese, offering competitive, consistent prices for your soybeans. Give them a call for a quote today yeah i imagine uh, we were talking to scott Dumas. and he's busy i would imagine jerry samalski isn't too far behind jerry good morning 
Good morning, Terry. Yes, we are busy, but you know, today is a day that we uh, selected a long time ago to bring everybody in to talk about uh, training and pruning. We just spent uh, two hours talking about pruning and techniques and what to do and how to do and what to do. So uh, we still have about a week and a half or so we think left for pruning. Uh, so, you know, if you haven't gotten to it yet, please get out there and get what you need to get done right away. Uh, it's, it's still a good time. Um, there's just so many things you can be doing in the yard. Now, transplanting your trees and shrubs um, is a really good time right now. If you have something you want to move into your garden, now's the time to do that as well. We've got great temperatures, great soil moisture, and but yet uh, not wet, so we can get a lot done. So uh, after today, we're going to get out. We're, we're going to go and trim at the, at the rescue mission in Bay City uh, and uh, put our lessons to work to help the rescue mission out and help reinforce with our guys uh, our lessons of this morning. Hey, fantastic. Jerry, you have a great day. The plan of the week is tomorrow, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Jerry Samalski, Bay Landscaping and Garden Center in Essexville. While we're on the subject of working outside, Chuck Servinsky from Maple Hill, I know you're going to be working outside, and I know you've got a product out there that uh, is really going to help build our gardens up because before you know it, we're going to be working in them. Yeah, let's talk about dairy do for a little bit. You want to make your garden healthy and your flowers shine with a lot of blooms, use some dairy do this year on your garden and flower beds. And it's a high carbon, high quality compost that's full of beneficial organisms to keep the plants healthy and strong throughout the year. You use it as an amendment for existing gardens as well as you know any new gardens and pots and containers that you might have. It's not something that you're going to use for direct planting. But what you do is spread it out a quarter to a half an inch onto the soil and rake it in and till it in and water it well before you plant. And you can also use it post-planting by sprinkling around uh, any plants that you may have and just watering it in. And we've got dairy doing both one cubic foot bags and in bulk by the cubic yard. So we can stop by and get more tips. You definitely can. You can stop in and let us show you how to do it with Morgan Composting Dairy Do Products. Fantastic, Chuck. Again, your hours? Uh, what uh, are you we're open? here Monday through Friday, 9 until 6, uh, Saturday 8 to 4, and soon Sundays noon to 4. Yeah, because you're going to have uh, open house coming up the end of the month, right? Yeah, a couple more weeks and plants are starting to arrive daily, actually starting tomorrow. Fantastic. Chuck Zervinsky, we'll talk again on Friday, all righty? Okay, bye-bye. Chuck Zervinsky, Maple Hill Nursery. We'll be right back. Do you have a yield monitor in your combine? Do you print off a pretty picture every year, but you don't know what to do with it? Why don't you have PC Ag Solutions analyze your data to help you make profitable decisions for the upcoming season? We can help you analyze your data from your planter, sprayer, or combine and compare it to your soil types and nutrient availability. Anything from the planting date to your speed, population, and variety to elevation, drainage, and in-season applications. We can help you make the most profitable decision on your farm. Call us today, 989-868-4444. Farm Service brought to you today by the folks at Krizak's House Family Restaurant. Now is the time to get any event booked up. Uh, I mean, Krizak's will supply the food for you. 989-894-5531. Also, you can use that number to reserve your table for Mother's Day. Before you know it, it's going to be here. Give mom a break. Krijak's House, great place to eat for Mother's Day. Corner of Cass in Michigan on Bay City's south side. Farm service brought to you today as well by the folks at Steiner Tractor, new parts for old tractors, 800-234-3280 or go to steinertractor.com. Back at 1230 with an update. Now we conclude with the playing of our national anthem. <laughs> 